No, no, no. Don't touch that dial. Here's what's on my mind tonight. <laughs> Rick and Miranda, just do it. We'll be free. You know, just the two of us. They're running away from mom and dad. But will the honeymoon turn to a little hell? I guess they just needed a crash course in growing up. Brad Pitt stars in the next. Freddy's Nightmare. episode. I mean, I'm Plaster's face on the cover, of course, but New Line Cinema or Warner Brothers would probably do the same thing, and you can't really blame them since Tales from the Crypt did the exact same thing. So, anyway, um, and let's go over the hoping that the series will be released on DVD, and let's go to the episode and review it. The episode, of course, begins the same way, except with new burning for some reason. And so we go to the episode with these two just getting married, breaking down in Springwood, Ohio. Which is not a good spot to break down because either A, you're gonna die, B, you're gonna go to jail, or C, you're gonna go crazy. Normally it's one of those three. Sometimes there's a happy ending though, but those don't count. So they make the best of the situation, still being happy, as Freddy's working on a car. It's a shame those nice kids bought a ticket to freedom. Only to have me punch <laughs> I would kill them myself, but I had to fix this car from Rebel Without a Car. Because it still needs fixed. So after three hours, they're still on the road. Having second thoughts about leaving home, but he wants to run away and they are able to find a car. The only problem is they just ran over Brad Pitt. Yeah, they're gonna get sued. And so finally someone is there to help. Brad Pitt being pretty much fine. But the pair of old people telling them to call their parents. Them telling them why they left. Them being kind of pissed. Wait, why are you saying call your parents? I mean, to be honest, some people's parents are dead. And or they have step-parents that cured them like pieces of shit or something like that. I mean, sometimes you can't really ask people if they have parents or not. I mean, they probably know somehow the supernatural somehow. You two disgust me. Ungrateful. Selfish. Breaking your parents' hearts. So the old people that easily could overpower, overpower them and rob them. Yeah, they're not making... Brad Pitt look very good, getting beaten by an old man. Yeah, I do realize that he just got ran over, but he's not limping or anything. He's a completely fine. Hell, I don't even see a scratch on him. I mean, that might be from the quality, but still, they're kind of not making him look badass. So, since they called a tow, he comes saying to give them 200 bucks, but they're kind of short, but... Their credit cards were cancelled already, so they have nothing, so they're taken to a fishing motel with some overacting. We solve your problem. We make a difference. Yeah, this guy is kind of entertaining. I mean, he's not in the episode too much, but he is entertaining. And I always love that bad acting in anything, really, because it's just entertaining. Hell, even Brad Pitt likes it. It's so bad, it's good. Yep. He's explaining the Freddy's Nightmares TV series, and most horror movies, or most movies, and just that phrase alone. Get the sweet for free, as it's jacuzzi time. And so there's also prawns in there, and of course, this happens. The real world doesn't 
make it to you. It'd probably just be you alive. The fuck? Did I just see a chubby fat kid use an arrow and shoot it into Brad Pitt's leg? What the fuck am I watching? But everything was just a dream, but she's getting in the sauna, the b b lock breaking, and when he goes to fix it, the cops come for some reason to arrest him. You guys heard that, right? You should clearly be able to hear those screams. I mean, you should probably go check it out. It is your job. Unless you're just trying to be assholes. So a few la hours later, I uh, guess... He starts kicking the seat, which should work, but it does, wrecking the car. Yeah, they can't blow up a car. Just, you know, show the smoke of a blowing up of a car. Because, you know, TV budget. So he gets back, her being okay, and so he runs away. Her saying that he can't run from everything. Them going and stealing a familiar car, running someone over. <laughs> Um, blah. well, I guess Brad Pitt can't sue anybody now since he ran over himself? Not even I can make sense of that. I guess they just needed a crash course in growing up. Yeah, uh, Freddy, can you please explain that ending to me? I don't even understand it. Well, I guess he's not going to explain it. Go to the second half. And so the second half begins with... <laughs> okay, I think I found the second funniest part of the Freddy's Nightmare series. But first is still Ratmaster Freddy. The second half actually begins, this time starring Miranda, instead of someone random. But they still don't explain the first half's ending, because that's too hard. And he was ran over, but he's okay now. Them staying in Springwood, her doing great there, even though she's late. And her job really can't work with kids. And so, it's Freddy says stuff. <laughs> Miranda just bought herself a front row ticket to the American Dream from her favorite scalper. Yeah, she bunch bought a bunch of black tickets because title drop. Now I'm going down here to hang with the Ninja Turtles. Actually, though, that'd be a pretty cool crossover. New line. Any way we can see that? Well, technically, turtles aren't owned by New Line, but still, New Line, come on. So she talks about him, him saying that he'll be fine. Even if she is, he'll help raise it, and so she goes to sleep. Her being pregnant, skipping ahead, her thinking that she's fat because they pat her butt. Oh, I'm not even joking. You can literally see there that she's patting on her butt. Don't worry, because her big butt, she's being replaced. Having the baby, and having a mom car, her husband going out there to taking care of the baby, her feeling like she's locked in there. But this is Friday's Nightmare, so of course, it was all just a dream. So she just tries to take a test for it, but she takes a nap, waking up to more overacting. Motherhood takes commitment. Motherhood takes guts. I don't think you have what it takes. Yeah, when you hear overacting, you know it's a dream. Or, most likely. And also you can tell there are some Freddy lights. And, by the way, while they're on it, I want that. And also, they have Brad Pitt singing. Right on my name, you're in great distress. I come on her.
Uh, you have Brad Pitt singing a goddamn lullaby. <laughs> and you already had him get beat his ass by a fucking old man. <laughs> yeah, you have him singing a fucking lullaby. Your life is now There's nowhere to run. <laughs> okay, you're going a little far having to give us a thumbs down. <laughs> Go to the next scene. <laughs> but of course, it's all just a dream, and she isn't pregnant. But this happens and make her crazy, making her think she's a little girl. Wait, so if he had sex with her, what would that be considered? Hmm. Well, ha also, by the way, how did you... How did that happen when you fell like that? I mean, maybe you could have broken your neck, but you're not gonna go crazy over that. Hell, I think I've fallen worse than that. I've been completely fine. She just became crazy on her own. Damn cuckoo. Cuckoo. <laughs> cuckoo. So, well, not my favorite. If you like Brad Pitt, you'll enjoy it. Especially if you want to see him sing. Yeah, that alone made the episode worth it. <laughs> and both are fine. The first half about running away, and the second half being about having a baby. And how that can be scary, and even though... Both halves are different. I do like to see the same characters in both halves because, you know, they makes them feel like the same episode. And hell, even the acting is decent enough. Brad Pitt is, I guess, pretty good. And Miranda is okay, too. And there's some fun overacting. The only problem I do have with both halves is the ending. The first half isn't explained. The second half just ends with there as a kid, but... The episode is still good, and you probably do want to see Brad Pitt sing a lullaby. This episode, I think you'll enjoy it, and I suggest you go check it out. No, no, no! Don't touch that dial! Here's what's on my mind tonight. <laughs> Steven isn't doing very well to bring what high. As in failure. Can't fit in. We're going to have to take some drastic action. Can he get out of school or is ready to teach him a lesson? On the next, Freddy's Nightmare. So the episode begins with a kid in a limo with hot girls, but of course, this was not real, it was just a daydream. In real life, he's getting yelled at because he's a squeaky wheel at school. And so, he meets up with his friends and gets an F for creativity. The assignment was to make a table. Uh, yes sir, but if everyone made tables, there'd be nothing to put on them. F is in failure. And to be honest, even in creativity, he'd get an F because First of all, if that's clearly losing the table, but second off, that just looks like he made in like five minutes and half-assed. I mean, seriously, it doesn't look like there's much ever put into that. So he says he has to go to the principal's office for nothing, and... This time I'm sending Steve to the principal's office for a little higher education. <laughs> you know what I always say, spare the blade, spoil the child. Well, good for you. I don't got no jokes for that. Next scene. So he, of course, falls asleep. And he's called in, it's because he doesn't fit into the system. And is different than everybody else. So they're gonna have him arrested. Him finding more rebels like him. Them telling him that they should be able to find themselves. Hey, uh, dude, you do realize you can drop out, right? I mean... It's not a good thing to drop out, but you could, technically. And they have this guy tied up down there, them singing schools out. No more school. No more books. No more teachers' dirty looks. Oh, I see. You just want to sing schools out because, you know, it is a good song. Plus, Alice Cooper. We all know the man behind the mask is a great song. 
me, chew me, eat me, you can't beat me, chew me, eat me, you can't beat me. Oh no, don't, don't play that. I don't want to get that shit stuck in my head. And so he decides to let them go, them run off. But of course this was all just a dream, but he's still in the dream, everyone now being robots. Including him, who was a rebel robot, but again, this was all a dream. And it turns out they really didn't want him. So that dream was all kind of for nothing. Great. And so he turns into a good boy, getting A's. Freddy likes it. Now that's how you break somebody's spirit. Yeah, so the message in the episode isn't done very right, and it could be that there just isn't a message, but I'm pretty positive there is, and the message pretty much is don't conform and be yourself, but in the, in the episode he conforms and just gets brainwashed into another person. Yeah, that's not a very good message if you're trying to make it a message. So the second half begins, like the last, with him thinking he passed the SAT, but he was only dreaming, and not really the smartest guy. Some people just can't take the pressure. <laughs> like the guy from the last episode, he shouldn't have conformed. And it turns out he wants to pass, so he can go to college with his girlfriend, as she thinks it's getting to his head. And when he's at dinner, his family, he's only thinking about the SAT, hearing math and the whole time. Julie eats two slices, chewing an average of ten times before swallowing. And if each chew takes on the average a quarter of a second, how long will it take before Julie has consumed both pieces? Mom, haven't I told you I don't like to do math in dinner? Gosh. So the dinner ends, finally. Him sounding crazy. Him taking the SAT, going to commercial, and time being up. Him being worried that he failed. Him talking to that guy that was at dinner about getting into college. Him showing that he get checks. Or not, depending on if he passed the SAT. Him finally getting his scores back. Okay, I don't care, but I know what it's gonna be. It's obvious. 800. Combined. I bombed it completely. Yep, but there's an end of the world. But I kind of wish it was the end of the episode. So they all disown him because he failed. Her being with this new guy, him being a janitor, now not wanting to be around him. Him accidentally breaking equipment. And his father about to die, but he didn't pass SAT, so they won't keep him on life support. And because he didn't get paid, they pulled the plug. But it was all just a dream. And he did good. Alright, time's up. Or not, because he fell asleep. Which is a fear a lot of people have when they take the test. Falling asleep during it. But since he fell asleep, he had to take it again until next year. And outside, he's made an offer to sing for a company because they really liked it and so they want to get a contract and he is more suggest than people that took SAT. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yep, Freddy's one of those kids that just likes to bite his toys. But that actually looks a little good actually. Can I have a bite? So that was school days, and well, I guess it's okay, but this really isn't horror. I mean, the first half I guess kind of is, but the second half, that really isn't all. I mean, I guess taking SAT can scare you, but I noticed the episode it had some messages. The first one being the be yourself, even though by end he conforms to be everyone else, which makes it not as good. The second half being that failing one test won't ruin your life. And there's other ways to get success, which is better, but, you know, these, the first half, I did notice that it doesn't really work as the ending, but 
Oh well, I mean the episode isn't bad. I mean I wouldn't suggest you'd skip it. I don't think. I you can go check it out. You can watch it. I don't care. It's enjoyable enough that you can watch it. It's not bad at all. You won't be bored. It's okay. All right. So the next episode is supposed to be actually directed by Robert England. Robert, you better make it good. You better. It better not be a piece of shit episode. Well. Hopefully you can do something good. Let's hope. It's time for our boy to face the music with Rap Master. Ready! <laughs> <laughs>